Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from Alice Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about the 1-2-2 zone defense. This is in the half court. So basically what I'm going to go over in this video is how the zone works and how I like to teach it to my players that I coach uh, in the past and all the players that I will coach in the future. So let's get down to the clipboard. Let's check out this defense. Okay, so how I like to explain it to my players and I also how I like to run it myself is player one up top, he is guarding pretty well the three-point line and out. Depending on your, your age group, that could be anywhere from three to four feet out or farther and right about there. Then I like to have player three, he's guarding up until the three-point line out and down right roughly about there obviously player two is going to be mirroring that player five is going to be then covering his main area is there we don't defend at least I don't like to defend players out past the three-point line and then player four is going to be mirroring that as well now we also have secondary positions as well and how I like to explain to my players secondary positions is if the ball is on this side of the court obviously those players are going to be out your secondary position is going to be for player three he probably will not be going past half or at least this half imaginary half court line and player five he may go all the way out towards the low block on the other side in which case player three needs to take a step down but i'm going to get that i'm going to get into that a little bit deeper further on in this video so going from there any of these lines where we have overlapping areas so in those two spots also in these spots here we will have a double team so in this spot here player three and five will come together in that spot over here player four and two will come together and then in these spots here we will have two and one come together and three and one come together this zone defense can confuse teams into thinking that you're running a 3-2 zone defense, which is kind of the benefit towards this zone. It can confuse a lot of different teams. However, you're still protecting mostly the paint and allowing three-point shots, meanwhile still contesting those three-point shots. So going on from there, how I like to teach my team this defense is to set up five players in a five out around the three point line. Doesn't matter who goes where, it just has to be five out. That way when we start passing the ball around, we'll see where players will be able to start going. So now we've passed the ball over to player three. We're going to have a double team between three and one. Player 5 is in sort of the passing lane. Player 4 and 2 are covering the middle of the key so that there's no cuts down the middle of the key. And now, if the ball goes over to player 2, we're going to see player 3 dip down. We're going to see player 2 dip down. Player 1 is going to be dipping down a bit too. Player 3 is playing the passing lane. 4 and 2 are covering the key. However, player 5 is going to need a pop out, which means player 4 needs to be covering this block because sometimes there may be a player down in that low block. So we want to see that protected. From there, as you can see, we're still in the 1 2 1, or sorry, the 1 2 2 zone defense. So it's kind of interesting how this works out, isn't it? Anyways, so let's say we now start. Under, having our team understand where they're supposed to be on defense does, doesn't matter where the ball is on the perimeter. Now I'm going to start throwing in a player in the low post. That way, if the ball goes into the low post, we can see what our players are able to do. So if the ball goes into the low post, I want to see player 5 dip down, not going in and double teaming because now that could be a, a massive mistake because now player two is wide open for the three so how i like to have player five run is to get his hands in there if player four decides to take a dribble that way we can try and strip him of the ball meanwhile player five is still in the middle and able to cut off passes and be quick out to player two in case player two is to get the ball passed back to him if the ball is back up top, we'll start having 
Player 5 move back down. Player 4 may take a step or two away from player 4. Player 5 is playing in between players 4 and 2. We're going to see player 2 red start moving back up, still covering that passing lane in case somebody was to cut back door. Player 1, he's going to be moving back up and over. And we're going to be seeing if the ball gets swung, player 1 needs to then move. We're going to be moving our defense back around. And now, let's say we move the, the ball over towards this side. We're going to see player 1 and 2, they're going to be covering. We're going to be seeing player 5 covering the middle, player 3 covering the middle of the key as well. And we're going to continue to move this ball around over towards this side. So now, we can have a defense that is still covering the main objective, which is covering the main key itself and limiting shots from the three-point line. I personally really like running the 1-2-2 two, two if your team is uh, has the ability to think uh, the way they need to to run this defense. I also like to run my 1-4 unbeatable basketball defense, especially uh, if we can use this in two or three possessions, switch over to my 1-4, and then switch back after two or three possessions back to this and keep on flip-flopping, it's going to really confuse the other team. And then if we start mixing in man-to-man, -man, maybe every five or six possessions, that's when it really starts confusing the other team. I'm a defensive-minded coach. Even though I may have a lot of offensive basketball plays on this channel, I am a defensive-minded coach. And I like to really mess with the other team when it comes to defense. So I usually say to my team, this game, we're going to be running three defenses. We're going to be running man-to-man. -man, we're going to be running our 1-4 and we're going to be running our 4-1. Or we may be running man-to-man, 1-4-1-2-2. Or we may be running our man-to-man, uh, -man, our 4-1, which is a book that I'm currently writing and a defense that is currently being used uh, at, for many different teams, and they're absolutely killing it, so that's in the description as well. And then we may run a 2-3. So I like to have my team really understand the defensive concepts that I want to run. And we're only going to be running at the high school level. I only run at a maximum, maximum eight basketball plays. No more than that. Our main concept is defense. Defense, defense, defense wins a ton. The reason for that is because if we can get more possessions than the other team, that means that we're going to win. So keep that in mind. I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. I hope that this defense video helps you understand this defense a little bit more. And I hope that you can share this defense with your team as well. Maybe this video. And just so that they understand how this defense works. And I'll see you guys again later on today for the second video of the day.